Welcome to my channel and welcome to the final part of this series of videos where I color in the Jade Summer Art Nouveau book. I call color picture which is called Isis and her sacred snake. And also I am answering questions regarding social medias, some creative crisis problems and other interesting aspects of life of the colorists. First, let me tell you what I am doing on the screen. When, when I was thinking that I had problems with a limited color palette when I colored clothes of the Isis, that wasn't exactly a serious problem. I managed to find quite nice colors, uh, some turquoise blue, uh, bright gold, bright red, so I was quite happy how Isis looks and how she pop up against the dark background but when i started to think which colors to use for the snake i was totally lost because of the dark background i was afraid that to use dark colors which are quite traditional for snakes dark brown or black it will totally create some very macabre dark object in the middle of my page and that the snake will be lost against the dark blue background. I also didn't want to use any ochre yellow colors because I have already used them for the pyramids, for the sand, so they also were out of question. And in the end I decided that for the lower part of her body, which is indicated here with stripes, horizontal <laughs> stripes. I will be using quite nice pencils from Arteza set. They have those beautiful camel brown colors, which are something between yellow and brown, very close to polychromous green gold, and it was my basic color. Also they have coyote brown, which is something between brown and green, and with those pencils I managed to color half of the snake. For the upper part of her body, I found several very helpful Star Joy pencils. In the set of Star Joy, there are Terra Verde, Viridian, and dark green colors, which are very close to black, so they are indeed very deep, rich greens. And it's like black with small addition of green, exactly what I needed for the snake. So I was pretty happy that I have such a good selection of colors among all my many pencil sets and that's how I finished to color this quite detailed and intricate design. Now I will continue to answer this very interesting coloring tag and the next question is if some unpleasant event has happened in your life. Will you give up your hobby, believing that with this attitude you will only ruin everything? Definitely yes. If something bad, something unpleasant has happened in my life, I definitely won't be able to color. I color only when I am in good mood, when I can be creative, when I can concentrate on my coloring. I really put all my efforts and all my strengths, all my thoughts into coloring. And you know, if when something bad happened and when you have to think about real life, how to solve this problem, it's definitely not the mood for me to be creative and to be able to color. I'm sure that I won't be able to select colors, to think properly about what I am doing. So, And I simply don't want to put these negative emotions which I um, can have at this unpleasant moment into my coloring. I always color only when I am in good mood and I hope that these good vibes, they, that you can feel it in my colorings. You know that I prefer bright colors, I prefer <laughs> bright subjects, all those flowers, animals, fairies. 
And I don't think that if something bad happened and all my minds are distracted, I won't be able to do something good. From my previous experience, when I had difficult times, I preferred to switch to cross-stitching. When you cross-stitch, all you need is patience, a little bit of attention, but because you simply follow instructions, you can think about something else. You can distract yourself from your problems, or you can think about them. And because your hands are not empty with cross-stitching, it's really calming. So cross-stitching for me is hobby which I use when I am tired or indeed when something happened. And coloring its hobby when I am in a good mood and when I am able to put everything into coloring. The next question is connected to the previous one. Do negative emotions such as anger, rage, hatred or anxiety make your hobby more productive or not? Well, I have already answered that when I feel anything from the list above, I definitely won't be able to color and I don't think that I will want to color. I don't think that any of these feelings, they can be productive for creating something good. I simply can't imagine that with anger or rage or hatred, I would like to color anything. I know that many people mentioned that for them adult coloring it's a good way to fight anxiety or stress and it's a real blessing that adult coloring can be helpful in such a way. I don't know about myself. Maybe I am just blessed that I didn't have problems with anxiety or big stressful events recently, but I don't think that in such moments I will be able to color. I think that I simply will concentrate all my efforts on real life and I won't be thinking about coloring at all. So I hope that in my future I won't have such problems and that adult coloring will be quite pleasant hobby where I simply can express my creativity, but again, it's great that for some people adult coloring also can be helpful in resolving such huge problems. Next question is, do you like to participate in coloring contests? Well, my answer is no, I almost never participate in such things. I don't know how to explain it, but when I need to color something for a exact day, I start to procrastinate. I hope that I pronounced it correctly in English. And probably it's the one and only moment when I indeed start to procrastinate. In my real life, it's not thing which is traditional for me. Usually I am quite ready to do everything even before the exact date in my during my work or on my regular life, but when I feel obliged to color something, that's definitely not productive for me. I will find 100 much more interesting pictures to color. I will want to try something new. So even if in the beginning the idea of coloring contest can be interesting for me, I'm sure that closer to the day of publishing my work, I will lose this, lose this interest. I don't know how to explain it. And honestly, I simply don't get this idea of coloring contests. Yeah, sometimes it's nice when all people color the same picture and you can see many varieties of the same picture. Such coloring contests I do love, but when you organizers also want to choose one winner, I definitely don't want to participate in such coloring contests because it's very difficult to compare works and each work is beautiful in its own way. So probably the only contest, the only color along where I do want to participate, it's 
when our artists they provide group of people or everyone who want to participate with picture and if you feel inspired then you can grab this freebie and to color together with other people and the one thing when i also participated it's when i was very afraid to start coloring in tamislav tomic zemla snova i owned that book for six months i believe and i wasn't able to start coloring in it but then i found a group on facebook and there they had coloring in pairs and i paired with a very kind lady together we selected not very difficult picture and it was my start to of coloring in Tomislav Tomic book it wasn't taxing we have a long period of time so I had a lot of time for coloring this page and indeed it was quite helpful but I think that it was almost one and only thing when I participated another coloring contest which I do love it's then when you receive like ideas that we color something relating to dances and you need to find picture which among your coloring books which can be related to dancing or maybe we color something uh, about ancient times this is really interesting it's challenging you need to think about all the pictures you own and in such a way, I think I would participate in coloring contest. But when the rules are more strict, it's definitely not for me. The final question is, scrolling through the feed of social networks, you find an almost identical copy of your previously published work. There is no link, no mention of you in the post. Do you contact the author to resolve the situation? Oh no, definitely no. Uh, first of all, I know that contacted author is just to lose my time and I have very limited amount of time, I'd better spend it coloring. And I publish videos on YouTube, I publish color alongs, so they are supposed to be followed. If you love my picture, if you love my result, then I am happy if you decide to follow me and to get similar picture. Of course, I really appreciate when people mention my name, my channel, when they publish their works on Instagram, on Facebook. In such a way, I can go and I can admire your work. And also, I am grateful that in such a way, more people can learn about my channel. So, I am really very grateful. And I had such interesting situations that on Facebook groups, which I don't use or visit quite often, there were people who posted videos based on my, who posted pictures based on my videos. They didn't mention me, but many people in comments, they asked um, the author of the post to mention that picture was based on the videos and again I am very grateful but by myself I don't feel offended if people don't mention me. I definitely won't be blocking such um, people on internet, on Instagram. I think that the only one moment when I definitely blocked someone was when I discovered a profile on Instagram and that person tried to sell illegal PDF copies of the book. Imagine books like Menoe de Bonheur or Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanoka Yaguza, which don't exist as PDF. And they scanned such books and they tried to sell them. And many, many other books. Maybe they purchased one copy from Etsy by the artist and then tried to resell many of these files by themselves. So it was disgusting, it was illegal. And the worst thing was that they reposted my pictures from Instagram as an example how beautiful can be coloring in their books. So I was, I definitely was in, not terrified, I was very angry. I tried to contact the administration of Instagram to 
notifies them about this copyright infringement. I don't know how successful it was, but I definitely blocked that person. At least they won't be able to use my pictures, to use my contest, to advertise their illegal business. I hope that they will be blocked because it's disgusting. In any other cases, when people post pictures based on my videos or based on my pictures, I never will block them or contact them. I appreciate when people use my pictures and find them inspiring. And besides these works, they were indeed created by the person who posted them by their hands. It's not important that color scam was invented by myself. It still was colored by that person. That's totally different from case when my pictures are used illegally. Uh, and I also had problems when some of my pictures were shown as their own, where they tried to simply delete my name from the page and on some of the pictures I seem I sometimes forget to post my to post my watermark but it wasn't very successful because many people immediately recognized my works so what was the purpose of such reposting my pictures and claiming them as their own I don't know and I don't think that I will waste my time in trying to resolve such problems. If it's a quick way like sending um, copyright claim on Instagram, then maybe I will do it. But if they do it it's on Pinterest or Facebook where it's not possible to do something with um, social media, I won't be losing my time on such problems. I'd better go and to color something new and even more beautiful. Well, thank you for listening. I know that it was a long series of videos. Fun thing was that I colored this picture quite, quite quickly, but when I uh, realized that I want to do video with voiceover with these answers, it took me quite a long time to add sound and to answer these questions. But the good thing is that I feel that I am ready to start another page in this book. We have this strange relationship of love and hatred. You know how much I dislike this paper, but how much I love these designs. So I think that I am ready to select new page and to color another beautiful lady. Thank you for watching and for listening and I will see you very soon.